Hi guys, Ivan here. In this little tutorial, I want to explain the online phishing approach. So there is a exercise in Hacking Lab. It's called HTTP and HTTPS man in middle reverse proxy. In this exercise, you're going to set up a reverse proxy on port 80 and port 443 that will forward everything to the final destination server. This final destination server is our target system we want to fish. Um, give you a little bit of context, I prepared some slides. So, um, in an online phishing attack, whatever, if you advertise the phishing URL, uh, the phishing website will not give you the content, it will forward the content to the origin site, and the responses from the origin site uh, will uh, route back to the, to the victim via the reverse proxy. This is an interesting approach because um, you can uh, the application behaves as as normal and the user can really work on the application while using the reverse proxy. There are two approaches. If the man in the middle is uh, uh, offering an HTTP service, then the victim connects uh, to HTTPS. Of course, um, a certification error may occur. And depending on the victim's knowledge, he may accept or decline um, this cert service certificate. But let's assume the client would accept this HTTPS um, client certificate, then the traffic would be forwarded to the final server uh, via HTTPS. Usually the websites these days are using HTTPS, so the reverse pro proxy is capable of proxifying HTTPS to HTTPS. And of course, the login form comes back the attacker can then read out uh, responses from the website, sending back the login form where the user enters the credentials. A username and password will be sent to the reverse proxy to the online phishing server uh, where everything will be forwarded uh, to the destination server. And of course, this can be read out on the man in the middle. Uh, so username and password will be seen. Even if the client is using two-factor authentication, uh, he's entering an SMS token, for example, this can be read by the man in the middle. Sometimes um, to bypass the SSL um, mismatch error, um, so pen testers are offering an HTTP server. In this case, uh, the client is connecting to the HTTP server to the reverse proxy and the reverse proxy will then send it over HTTPS because the destination server, the target server, is not having an HTTP port. So this is a, not a different approach than before. It's like a gateway between HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, of course, modern browser will uh, alert, alarm users, uh, you're entering your credentials over an unencrypted or uh, unsecure connection. But if the user is not um, taking this into consideration and he enters the username uh, as before in the login form, then the attacker can read out username and password that has been sent over HTTP. The application still works as usual, so it's still an online reverse proxy attack that uh, will be, uh, be seen. So from an uh, online phishing approach, we have uh, HTTP to HTTPS gateways and HTTPS to HTTP gateways. Is a two-factor authentication protect protecting against this kind of attack? No, it's not, because um, t the second factor is usually, so if it's SMS-based, yes, it will help. But if it's a... Uh, Another approach, uh, it will not really help because the user is really working with the live system. The only mitigation against this kind of uh, online phishing attack is mutual authentication and uh, of course the awareness training of the user and uh, to monitor s domains and the traditional phishing, um, anti-phishing approaches. Uh, what is the purpose of uh, mutual authentication? So instead of just having a server certificate and a server private key, uh, it is also uh, the client also has a, its own keys, a client key on the on the browser. And if the client is uh, connecting to the server, the server is giving the identity by the server certificate, and the client is giving the identity over the client certificate. And if both certificates are 
um, trusted by the same or by a trusted certification authority uh, this will help up set up a SSH SSL connection that is uh, mutually authenticated so in a SSL man in the middle case having mutual authentication in place this will really prevent man in the middle attacks because the server the man in the middle cannot um, cannot accept the, um, uh, or the, the destination server will not accept the client certificate that has been sent by the man in the middle. Uh, he cannot forge, uh, as long as the man in the middle is not having access to the private key of the client certificate, as long as there is no Trojan on the client computer, the man in the middle is not able to interfere or, in, uh, uh, or to run the man in the middle attack. Okay, that's uh, the introduction for the um, HTTPS reverse proxy online phishing exercise in Hacking Lab. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.